got to do what God says and live out his word. So put into practice all the things you have heard. Cause it's time to do whatever God's telling you to. I'm gonna take off my coat. have got to see this. I've been saving and saving for this cute top. I saw it at the mall and it just went on sale. <gasps> that is so that is really cute, Krista. Thanks. I'm gonna wear it to the concert next Saturday night. Oh, that looks so good. Which concert are you going to? Krista's got tickets to the Krista Lewis concert, Colby. Oh, how exciting. Well, I haven't actually gotten the tickets yet, but I'm going to get them today. Oh, okay. She's my absolute favorite Christian singer, but I heard on the radio that they were almost sold out. Oh, I'm sure my church reserved a bunch of tickets. I'm going to go okay. get them right now. Bye. Bye. It sure would be great to go to that concert. Why don't you go too, Stephanie? No, I promised my mom that I'd spend time with her that day. Wouldn't it be great to meet Krista Lewis in person? Oh, wow. Well, I wonder if Krista can get backstage passes. People at our church have connections, you know. Mm, yes, that would be exciting. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, two tickets to the Krista Lewis concert, please. I'm sorry, we just sold out. Sold out? But it can't be. Could they be under the name of my church? Oh, uh, let me check. Uh, no, I'm sorry, we just sold the last two tickets. I'm really sorry. I can't believe the concert's all sold out. If only I hadn't gone to the mall. Krista! Hi, Krista! My mom just bought tickets to the concert. I get to go too. Woohoo! See you there. Bye. Hello, Krista. Is something wrong? I can't believe. Can't believe what? Stephanie's mom just bought the last two tickets to the Lewis concert. How wonderful for her. She really wanted to go to that concert. Yeah, great for her. Now I don't get to go. The concert's all sold out. Not even one ticket left? Not even one. I can't believe this. Well, maybe God has something else in mind. That last ticket should have been mine. One of my friends knows Crystal Lewis, and she was supposed to get me backstage. Now, I can't even get in. Oh, dear. Wait. Let me call her. Maybe she can get me some complimentary passes. Hello, Angela? Hi, this is Krista. Yeah, um, do you know, you know how you're talking about getting some passes for the Crystal Lewis concert? You did? That is so cool. Yeah, well, I have a problem. Well, the concert's all sold out. Yeah, I know I should have gone earlier, but I was at the mall. So, do you think you could get me some passes? You can't? All right, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, too. 
Okay, bye. Maybe God has something else in mind, Krista. Whatever. That's so cool that you get to go to that Crystal Lewis concert after all, Stephanie. I know, I can't wait. Hi, Colby. Hello, everyone. Hi, Colby. Hi. Where's Krista? I thought she'd be here with you. She was here just a few minutes ago. Well, where is she? I want to find out where we can meet at the concert. I don't think she's going, Stephanie. What? Apparently, when she arrived at the bookstore to buy her ticket, the concert had just been sold out. And my mom bought the last two tickets. That's why she didn't say anything when I saw her from the car. Oh, boy. There is always a reason for what happened, Stephanie. She is so mad at me right now. It's not really your fault, Stephanie. Yeah, she should have bought her tickets earlier. She is still so mad at me. Maybe I should just give her my tickets. I don't think that would be right, Stephanie. After all, this is a special time between you and your mom. I just don't want her to be mad at me. I understand that, Stephanie. But sometimes, when God is trying to teach someone else something, it's best for us not to try to interfere. Just keep your eyes fixed on him and pray for Krista.
Yeah, but Kevin's got a better position. Oh, yes. Did have a better position. Okay, Saxon, but next time you're gonna pay. Yeah, but not this time. What book are you reading? Voyage of the Dawn Treader. Okay, so I guess you're pretty mad at me. Whatever. You know, Krista, it's really not Stephanie's fault. Whatever. You should have gone sooner to buy the tickets. Then you'd both be able to go. You know, everyone, there's a story in the Bible I'd like to show you. If you'll all come look at my screen. A long time ago, there was a man named Jacob who had 12 sons. One of his sons was named Joseph, and his father loved this him very much. This is an Ear much. Witness News special report. And now, here is your Ear Witness News roving correspondent, Danielle Rather. Danielle? Good afternoon. I'm Danielle Rather, and we're bringing you this fast-breaking story via time delay satellite. Ooh. Ten of Jacob's sons are here behind me, tending their sheep, while waiting for their younger brother, Joseph, to bring food for all of them. Hi, Dad! Hi, Dad! Hi, Hi, Dad. This is a fast-breaking story? <sighs> Must be a really slow news day. <sighs> what? We're still live? <laughs> As I said, this fast-breaking story is about to unfold. Look, here comes Joseph now. What in the world is he wearing? Looks like some kind of coat. I'll bet it's another one of Dad's presents to his favorite son. You gotta wear shades that thing so bright. I wouldn't yeah. be caught dead in that thing. Me neither. Okay, so what are we gonna do with him? Yeah. You know, I'm sick of him always showing off. Yeah. yeah. I'm sick of him telling us about all those dreams he's had about us bowing down to him. Yeah. yeah. It's like we're gonna bow down to him. Yeah. yeah. There's a few more of us than there is of him. Yeah. yeah. Why don't we just make him disappear? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> but we can't do that. What will we tell Dad? Mm, we'll think of something. Hey, listen. I found this well behind those rocks over there. Oh. We could just put him in there for a little while just to teach him a lesson. Yeah. Here he comes. <sighs> Finally found you guys. See what Dad gave me? Yeah. I wouldn't wear something like this if you paid me. Yeah. yeah. Which won't be a problem because Dad gave it to me. I think you're getting a little bit too big for your britches, Joseph. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. need to be taught a lesson. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So Joseph, correct. do you have any last words for our television audience? Yeah. This is Danielle Rather with Ear Witness News. That was cool, Charlie. Wait till the network gets a hold of this. And so, Joseph's brothers put him in a deep pit. And they left him there? That was their intention. But when some traders came by, they sold Joseph as a slave. And eventually, he was brought to Pharaoh's court. Oh, I remember this part of the story. After a while, Pharaoh's wife had him put in the dungeon. That's right, Stephanie. He stayed in that dungeon for a long time, and during that time, God did a work in Joseph's heart. Joseph learned to be more humble and forgiving. After two years, the Pharaoh had a dream, and God used Joseph to interpret that dream and prepare Pharaoh for a huge famine in the land. What's a famine? That's when there's no rainfall for a long time, Tyler, and all the crops are ruined. So there's nothing to eat? Actually, there was, Tyler. Because Joseph was put in charge of storing the grain, there was enough food to last those years of famine. That's right. Then something interesting happened. 
Joseph's brothers came to Pharaoh's palace to buy grain. And after telling them to go home and bring back their brother Benjamin, Joseph asked to see them. He must have been so mad at them. You would think so. But by then, God had done a work in Joseph's heart, remember? Good morning. We have a very interesting development on our continuing coverage of the abduction of Joseph, his time spent in Pharaoh's court, not to mention his time spent in Pharaoh's dungeon. But we won't go into that. Today, however, Joseph is meeting for the second time with his very own brothers. And they still haven't recognized him. They're here, Master Joseph. Please sit down. As you requested, sir, we brought our youngest brother. If I may be so bold, we still don't understand why you asked for him. Benjamin! Sir? Don't you recognize me? I'm your brother, Joseph. Joseph? Joseph? Are you going to kill us? No, I forgave you long ago. Please forgive me for being such a brat to all of you when I was young. God has changed my heart. You mean we left in a deep pit and you're not going to have us killed for that? No, you are envious of me. I understand that because our father treated me more special. But as God did a work in my heart, let him now also work in yours. You spit our lives, Joseph. Even when we treated you horribly because we were jealous of you. Thank you. And thanks be to the Lord God Almighty. Yeah. yeah. A Kodak moment brought to you by Ear Witness News. This is Danielle Rather signing off. That's a cool story, Colby. Yeah. Yes. It sure is. See how God can change anger and envy into love and forgiveness? Yeah. If you let him change your heart. That's right, Kevin. If you hold on to anger and envy, you become bitter and full of resentment. But if you allow God to change your heart, he transforms all those feelings into love and forgiveness.
has changed my heart, Colby. I know that was the point of the Bible story. Well, when you hang on to anger and jealousy, really, the one who gets hurt the most is you. Yeah, I know. I'm really glad for you, Stephanie. I want you to have a good time at the concert with your mom. Thanks. You know I would have just given you my ticket. Except that Colby reminded me that this was supposed to be something that I was doing with my mom. I can go next time, Stephanie. Sometimes we just have to get out of the way and let God do his work. Yeah, I get that now, Colby. Oh, good. What perfect timing. Nice to see you. Oh, it is good to see you too, Crystal. Let me introduce you to some of my friends. This is Stephanie and Krista, and these are all my other friends from the clubhouse. Hi, everybody. It's nice to meet you guys. Oh, hi, Crystal. Colby, are these the girls you were telling me about? Mm-hmm. Stephanie. Hi. Very nice to meet you. Krista, I'm Crystal. Hi. She's here. She's really here. You know, Colby, I understand that not everybody can go to the concert. That's because it's all sold out. Well, that's too bad. But you know, sometimes God gives you something extra special just when you're not expecting it. Huh, Colby? That's for sure. Crystal, you've mentioned to me before about how you always warm up your voice in the car before a concert. Well, I was wondering if maybe you might be able to warm up a little bit right here with us at the clubhouse. Huh? Do you think you guys might be willing to help me out? Yeah, yeah, yeah.
I can't believe we just got our own private concert with Crystal Lewis. Wait until I tell everyone. Well, don't forget that any talents you have are from the Lord. That's why I always give him the glory. Well, I'll see you guys later. I gotta go. Bye. Bye. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a few extra tickets to the concert tonight. Does anyone want to go? Yes. Yes. Why don't you pass them out for me, Stephanie? Thank you. Bye. I can't believe she actually came and sang for us. She's a very special lady, Krista, and she loves the Lord. And to all of you at home who love the Lord, keep on serving Him. And if something's not right in your heart, ask God to change it. He will. And we'll see you next time on Colby's Clubhouse. Bye! Bye.